What's up guys, Jason over here at Cockill Farm. We're back in the garden. Hey, listen, I got some gardening we gotta do now. Don't, don't, don't front. It's gotta get done. What's up, everybody? Jason over here at Cock Hill Farm. We are back in the garden today. We're gonna set some more trellises out and then we're gonna plant some more stuff. And one of our favorite plants that I get so many questions about, we're gonna plant it today as well. Let's go. All right, now when we get in here, no chicks. Okay. No, put my foot down. <laughs> ah, no, unless Mama says nothing. <laughs> now this is what she'll do. This is what she'll do tomorrow. <laughs> when you're doing something else, she'll say, "Mama, Mama, Penny needs some feed." <laughs> And then you'll then you'll st sweet talk mama, mama into getting them. Mama, huh? mama, this is a new color. I've never seen this before. <laughs> it's rare. Daddy'll never know. We'll just mix it in with those we already have. <laughs> you wouldn't do that, would you? You wouldn't do that, would you? You little sneak. <laughs> just hold them over one at a time. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. believe it I got the cattle panels and no chicks oh what did you want it that's what it was <laughs> Take it on so I ran through here with the horse plow with the cultivator tool in it just keeping the weeds at bay not going deep I'm just going across the surface with it I did five foot spacing in my beds with the squash because squash just gets so darn big. I'll probably plant this row, set this row up for tomatoes. I'm thinking about doing my next one for the rattlesnake pole beans. And how awesome is that? Is that not the, the most hardcore vegetable name? I mean in my garden I'm going to have eight ball squash and rattlesnake pole beans. Sounds like a biker game. And if you missed my last video, I'm trying something totally new this year. Generally, I'll plant this with something, uh, a big crop that takes a lot of space. Like, I'll do corn one year in this whole plot. I'll plant pink eye purple hulls. I've done zipper creams. I've done stuff like that. And I've used my raised bed garden for everything else. I've used my raised bed garden for my tomatoes and squash and peppers and that kind of thing. So this year, Flipping it on its head, I've decided I'm not going to plant one of those big crops. It takes a lot of space. I'm going to do a ton of stuff that we like. I honestly could eat a BLT every day for the rest of my life. It's just, And then we're going to plant a plant that gets more attention on my channel than any other vegetable that i ever grown. But just the same concept. I saw several people, especially my buddies over at the Hoss Tool Company, they were growing stuff on cattle panels and I've been wanting to do it for years. I've never done it. This year is the year. And I always remember, garden doesn't have to be fancy. Garden doesn't have to be complicated. If you got a small garden and it says that you're supposed to plant tomatoes four foot apart and you want to do them two foot apart or a foot apart, do it. If it doesn't work, guess what? <laughs> Ain't the end of the world. All right, got the one for the tomatoes done. I'm just going to let it be. I'm gonna go four foot and then we're gonna put the rattlesnake pole beam one up where I'm not gonna have something big like that squash. I'm gonna go four foot in between my beds. I used to try to compact it. I don't know, it just seemed like it would get crowded and I had a hard time weeding in between the rows. I'm trying something different this year. Always trying things different. You're never too old to learn something or try something completely new. Never too young either. Rain's coming again. I can hear it coming through the woods. A few moments later. All right, the rain has stopped again. Thank goodness. So we're back at it. Actually, actually, I didn't stop. 
And that's why my hat's kind of. Another good thing about the hat, it's like an umbrella. Keeps that rain off of you. I don't want my equipment to get wet. If I'd have known it was gonna be like this, I should have brought my GoPro. All right, the rattlesnake pole bean trellis is up. Have you ever met Miss Lindy? She's a guy with a bright red hair. Nice. All right, let's plant some okra. And I keep it in the freezer. This is the okra my grandfather gave me. Uh, he had no clue what it is. I have no clue what it is. I plant it every year. It does well. I save the seeds. Okra seeds are super easy to save. I mean, really easy to save. Just leave, what I do is leave a plant or two, let the pods dry out, and then, just, and then just take the seeds out of them. I put them in jars or plastic bags or usually jars. We usually keep old peanut butter jars. And then I'll just throw them in the freezer. Why do I save some of my seeds in the freezer? And others in a shoe box uh, I just kind of do what my grandfather does and he saves his okra seeds and his peas and his beans in the freezer and just never asked him why really it's just what he does he's 97 and still has a garden and it looks awesome so I figure he knows what he's doing <laughs> so okra I'm gonna plant very close together, closer than the other stuff. I'm gonna do three foot rows, I'm gonna get three rows of okra in here, and I'm gonna plant two rows of that okra that I got, and I'm gonna plant a row that Hoss Tools sent me. The one they have is called Jambalaya Okra. Well, there's two 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 big okra dishes we like. Uh, I did one of my very first videos was, was the okra pancakes, which is Scott Peacock's version of okra fritters. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out right here. I'll put a link to it down below. We love baking it. Well, you know, we just put some olive oil on top of it, sprinkle some salt on top of it, put it on a baking sheet, put it in the oven, and it's awesome. So I want to dedicate one video when the okra gets here and it's up and going. I'm going to dedicate one video to okra so that way the people that are so curious about it can see it, see how it looks, see how it grows, see how we prepare it and maybe it'll get you to grow some. Okra seeds, a lot of people with okra seeds because it is a big, dense, thick seed. Uh, I think it's got a hard husk on it or outer layer, whatever you want to call that. And a lot of people take sandpaper and rub it. I know some people will soak them overnight before they plant them. I've never done either one of those. I just put it in the ground. My okra always germinates really, really well. It may germinate faster if I did it that other way, but I, I don't know. It germinates, comes up, and we usually have lots of okra. So it's kind of a little, it's, it, the hibiscus is in the hibiscus family. Uh, it looks a lot like a hibiscus. And yeah, let's get it in the ground. I'm gonna mark my rows three foot on the okra. Pull my string. Keep them lines straight. We don't want Budweiser lines. <laughs> Since I don't have anything here, I don't have any plants coming up, I'm just gonna leave these strings tied up here to let me know, or if, if Mrs. Cock Hill came in here or Mary Carl, they would know where the okra is and just kinda avoid this area. Hey guys, and I'll keep y'all updated and posted and do a lot more garden videos this year. Like I said in the last video, garden is something that I really, really love. I haven't had a chance to do it over the last two years like I normally do or like to do so this year I'm gonna start focusing on things that I like to do things that I love to do and gardening is one of them so a lot more gardening so it should be more garden videos and I hope y'all enjoy them and also y'all get out there do something do the things that you love to do you like to do and focus on that life's too short not to have fun Hey guys, thanks for watching the video today. Get out there and go plant something. If you're new to the channel, like what you see, hit that subscribe button right down below. If you're interested in any cocky or farm shirts like this one, check out that link right there. As always, 
Y'all be good.